Almost two decades before the Humboldt tragedy, this fatal crash in New Brunswick. Elaine Alpert's son, Stephen, died. And then I heard there were fatalities and the phone started ringing. The facts need to be aired. Uh, a coroner's inquest recommended that seatbelts be installed and enforced on motor coaches. An internal Transport Canada report also concluded that coach buses without seatbelts may put passengers at a necessary risk of injuries and fatalities. Still, it did nothing, and the report was never made public until now, after the fifth estate got it through an access to information request. I didn't know this existed. Alpert says if Transport Canada had acted then... It might have made a difference for the 16 young men and women in the Humboldt crash and in others in between. Like this one in BC, 43 people were critically injured. The head of Canada's coach bus industry wrote an urgent letter to Lisa Raitt, then Transport Minister in the Harper government. While thankfully no one was killed in this incident, it's only a matter of time before there is another fatal incident. I turned to my deputy and I asked for information and my team, my staff, would have received briefings as well. And the information I got back was a couple of things. Well, you know, Minister, it takes a long time to get regulations going. Instead, it took 16 deaths and 13 injuries for Ottawa to finally announce all new coach buses must have seat belts by September 2020. And it is my number one priority, and I am working uh, to try to make all modes of transportation as safe as possible. Every province has a law that says if there are seat belts on a bus, they must be used, but it's up to the bus driver to enforce. There were seat belts on the Humboldt Broncos bus, but nobody was wearing them. Well, I don't know why we have to wait. What, do, what are we waiting for? Chris Joseph's son Jackson died in that crash. He says Ottawa still isn't acting fast enough. And I just hope and pray that nothing else happens before then. So Joseph and other families have launched a social media campaign, hashtag buckle up for the Broncos. You might get a little pushback, but I think eventually, like helmets on bicycles, like anything, people would start to accept it as the norm. Humboldt Broncos families want it to become the norm, just like seatbelt use in cars before the next tragic bus crash. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.